Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, Developer Advocate at Dremio, and I wanted to just kind of walk walk you through sort of starting your own uh, Dremio Cloud account and how easy it can be. Now, before we do that here at Dremio.com, I just kind of walk you through a few things you can do while you're here. Uh, one, you can go get a free copy, a free early release copy of Apache Iceberg, the definitive guide. So if you're building a lake house, it's good to know about Apache Iceberg, give that a read. And we've added a lot of great Apache Iceberg content to the Dremio YouTube channel and in the Dremio blog at dremio.com slash blog. So do check that out. But the first thing you wanna do is click here on free lake house. Okay, and that's gonna take us to our getting started page. Okay, and you're gonna have two choices on sort of how you want to deploy Dremio. We're gonna be walking through Dremio Cloud which is a fully managed cloud service. But you can also self-deploy um, basically and have a, a instance of Dremio that's completely under your control, deployed on uh, your infrastructure from top to bottom uh, using any of these methods. Okay, so here's a documentation for if you wanna do what's called Dremio software. So it's Dremio software and Dremio cloud. Now, if you wanna try out Dremio cloud before starting an account like we're gonna do here, you can click on this test drive button. And what you can do is you can basically get access to this test environment where you can kind of try out Dremio Cloud without having to create an account, without having to incur any costs. It's just all just a, a nice way to just test drive the platform. But if we want to start our free Dremio Cloud account, we can click here on sign up for free. Okay, and that's going to take us to this page. Okay, and I'm going to sign up with Google, but you can sign up with your GitHub account, your Microsoft account, or you can just sign up with your email, however you want. And again, there's a European and North American uh, one, depending on sort of what region is better for you. So I'm gonna click on Google, say, hey, I wanna sign up with uh, Google, uh, choose which email that I wanna use. I'm gonna use this dremio.example email. Okay, and that's gonna take me in and see, I'm, I'm pretty much have created my account. That was pretty much all it took. Okay, what it's gonna do is you're gonna ask you to create an organization. So you're gonna give your organization a name. Okay, so um, I'll call this one Dremio example. Awesome. Okay, now it's creating our organization. And that's going to take us to the next part of our sign up. And it's just going to ask us some questions like, what do we plan on doing with Dremio? Okay, are you going to create like a semantic layer so that way you can sort of govern and, and organize your, your data so that way you have this one nice self serve access layer? Okay, are you looking to support like data engineering experimentation? Because you can use something like the Dremio Arctic catalog that's going to allow you to create branches so that way you can create multiple environments for the same data without necessarily having to create multiple copies of the same data to accelerate performance for like bi dashboards using dremio features like data reflections to you know basically cache the results of aggregations to basically allow you to have really fast speedy bi dashboards uh data exploration ad hoc analytics just basically having your data in a nice self-serve organized way that allows you to discover and understand that data through documentation uh, governance etc um or all of the above, right? So I'm just gonna hit others and hit next. Okay, now you do need an AWS account to sign up for Dremio soon. Other cloud providers will be available in the future for Dremio Cloud, but right now it's AWS. So I do, I am signed into my AWS account right over here in this tab. So, you know, before doing this, if you're starting your Dremio Cloud account, sign into your AWS account. Um, <clears throat> and that's just needed so that way it can create uh, the IAM roles and whatnot. And it needs to create the computing systems for crunching queries. That's generally when you're running queries on Dremio, that's gonna be the, generally the only time in your free account that you'll incur any costs. But those aren't costs with Dremio, though there's no licensing, no membership fees or anything like that. Uh, you're incurring costs of the infrastructure you deploy, you deploy from AWS for uh, running uh, your queries through Dremio, <clears throat> which would be the same through any query engine. Okay, so we're gonna create our first Sonar project. So in, in Dremio, there's essentially two types of projects. There are Sonar projects. Each Sonar project is essentially a query engine. Okay, so it's basically for cataloging your data and querying your data. And then there's Dremio Arctic projects, which are catalogs, which can be used to sort of categorize several different uh, Apache iceberg tables and views on any data source. Okay, so we're just gonna call this first project or we'll just say I'll call it main project. And every project is gonna have a default Arctic catalog. So that default Arctic catalog is gonna be used as your main organization point for your data. But you'll be able to create multiple Arctic catalogs on top of the first one, if you wanna like basically create like, let's say data products and have each, each domain have their own uh, catalog, or you just wanna kind of organize it in some other way, you'll have that opportunity. 
I'm going to use US East one because it's where I'm located. I'm in base out of Orlando. We'll call this first catalog. We'll just call it Arctic. Okay, main project. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no tags. Okay, and I'll hit next. Okay, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, configure our our AWS resources. So what's going to happen is on the next page we're going to uh, spin up CloudFormation template, which is basically a template that's just going to a one click kind of do everything for us. Now let's say you don't necessarily have access to your particular AWS account to be able to do that. Um, there's details here on how you can do that by clicking here or clicking here to do those details manually. If you want to kind of configure it on your own, you can do that. But the easiest way to do it is just launch the CloudFormation template, which is going to la launch this page on AWS. Okay, and then we're just going to enter a stack name. We're just going to call this like, you know, uh, Dremio AM, Dremio account, 082223. Okay, you're going to choose a virtual private cloud that you have set up on your account or create one. So I am just going to choose this one right here. Uh, choose any subnets. I'll just choose this one right here. Okay, project store. You can just leave the default there. It's just going to create a bucket for this particular project. Okay, any kind of encryption, um, any other of these details. Oh, again, all that's optional. I acknowledge AWS CloudFormation might create IAM resources because that's what it's going to do. It's just going to create the IAM resources so that way Dremio has the authority to spin up engines that you want to use. And we'll go over that. Once we're done with this, we'll show you how you can manage uh, engines. So we're going to click Create Stack. Okay, and then that's going to go through this process of creating a stock. So you see it says Create in Progress. When it's done, it'll say Create Complete. Okay, if anything goes wrong, it'll say Rollback Complete. So just keep an eye on that for when it's done. Every once in a while, you may want to hit this Refresh button. So because sometimes this may not uh, just automatically update. But this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so as you keep refreshing it, you'll see this kind of keep updating. But you'll notice that now it does say that the create is complete. So it's finished building out this infrastructure. So now if I head back to the tab where I was creating my account, I am now in. Okay, I am so welcome to Dremio Sonar. Again, that's our query engine. It's going to have these nice prompts that kind of help you kind of learn sort of what the UI looks like and how it works. So you can see here if I can click through here, and it's going to explain what the platform does. Um, you know, walk you through the UI. So you can see here, welcome to Dremio. Again, that's going to be the icon for the SQL runner where you can run SQL queries. Okay. And it's, you see there's all these helpful guides where you can kind of run through tutorials to help you get started with Dremio if you're not familiar with the Dremio UI. Okay. So I'm going to close that off. And then here you are. Okay. And bottom line is this. You're starting off. So there's our default Arctic catalog. So again, this is going to be our unit for organizing our data. So within this Arctic catalog, we'll be able to save views and iceberg tables. Okay, and I'll be able to, I can create new folders. So basically, if you were creating like, you know, data products, they could be a folder within the default Arctic catalog, or you can create a separate Arctic catalog. And the way you would do that is you can just click here on sources, say, hey, you want to add another Arctic catalog. And then right from here in the drop down, you can just create a new Arctic catalog. Okay, you can also create an object of a project of any type by just clicking here on either on sonar or projects or Arctic project. So if I click on Arctic catalogs, it's going to take me to this screen and I can always add another catalog here as well. Um, the catalog has its own UI where you can go in there and manage like its versions, its branches, uh, commits, tags, and kind of really see sort of what's going on in that catalog. Now, if I go back to my Sonar project, so here's my main project. Okay. From here, what I can do is I can also here manage the project. So each again, each project has a way of sort of managing that particular project. And this is going to be your org settings. So basically, these are your settings for your organization. So to change those organization settings, okay, you're going to click right here. So see this gear? So once I go on this page, I'm going to click here. And this will be my settings for the organization as a whole, where I can kind of create more clouds, billing. I can add users, okay, create role, different roles, okay, and all that stuff. Okay, and if I go back to that page again, again, on any project, I could change that particular project setting. So like, for example, this Arctic catalog, it's configured to save uh, data via the here. Okay, these are the configurations for that setting, like where, where it's endpoint. So if I want to connect it to like Spark or Flink, I would use this URL right over here. Okay, and if I go to Sonar, I have settings there as well. I can go click here. And here I can manage like the engine. So remember I mentioned you can kind of set up the engines that you want. So right now I have this 
to 2xs small preview engine but if i want to create other engines that are maybe bigger uh for you know higher priority queries i can do so here choose different sizes of engines choose different levels of concurrency okay i can set how many replicas there should be when they should automatically shut down so that way you don't end up having dangling instances all these kinds of details here okay you can determine how queries get routed to those different engines um, lots of little details you can do but again i can start connecting different data sources so you always start off with a sample data source and a sample database where you can where you're going to have some sample data to work with okay so you can kind of get used to using dremio okay and here you can always add the sources from all sorts of different uh, sources okay and that list is always growing okay so hopefully this gives you a introduction to how you can get started with Dremio Cloud today. My name is Alex Merced, developer advocate at Dremio. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you all around. Make sure to go check out the Dremio blog and the Dremio YouTube channel for all sorts of really great content on working in Dremio, but working with Apache Iceberg and with Data Lake houses in general. Have a great day and enjoy.